Why Trevor Noah and Tommy Lauren S debate was such a big deal Trevor Noah's sit down with Tommy Lauren was a big moment for The Daily Show. Why? That depends on whom you ask. Bringing a conservative firebrand onto the show for a long, complex discussion struck some, including us as a callback to the legacy of Noah's predecessor, Jon Stewart. Critics, however, saw it another way, by having Lauren on the show, Noah gave her a platform and, to some degree, validated her views views that directly impact and endanger black Americans. The controversy has gotten so heated that on Wednesday, Noah responded to it during a 45-minute visit to morning talk show The Breakfast Club. For those who are unfamiliar, 24-year-old Lauren has gained a large following from her nightly show, Tommy, which airs on Glenn Beck's conservative news and entertainment network, The Blaze. As the New York Times notes, she has routinely criticized prominent black figures including Colin Kaepernick, Jesse Williams, Bianca, and Barack Obama and, naturally, the Black Lives Matter movement, which she compared to the KKK during her Daily Show appearance. Arguments like those are precisely the reason some critics called her appearance dangerous. As writer David Dennis Jr. puts it in his thoughtful essay, Noah and Lauren S. Daily Show dialogue was more than a mere equal exchange of ideas. Noah and Lauren weren't he debating how to increase GDP or who has the best team in the NFC, Dennis wrote. They debated topics that are literally life-threatening to people who look like Trevor Noah and me. Tommy Lauren spouted violent propaganda on national television while Noah tried to get her to value his black life. That is not a healthy debate. That type of conversation shouldn't he be celebrated. And it damn sure isn't he Trevor Noah's job to convince a white person why he shouldn't he die. Some critics take their arguments a step further by wondering if Noah is actually the right man to analyze those issues in the first place. BuzzFeed us Tommy Obaro criticized Noah's consistent need to placate, his cloying belief that everything will work out if liberals and conservatives just sit at a metaphorical dining table and hash things out, calling this a talk show host's greatest weakness, it has the luxury of his vantage point as a successful black foreigner, the miracle of his own birth that lets him believe such solutions are feasible. And the saga hasn't he ended yet. Noah and Lauren seem to be cultivating some sort of professional relationship, and whatever you thought of their initial debate will probably color how you feel about their blossoming camaraderie. On Wednesday, Noah addressed the controversy surrounding the debate on The Breakfast Club, a morning talk show whose hosts include Charlemagne the God, who also has a friendly relationship with Lauren. During their 45-minute discussion, Noah addressed the backlash and argued that the debate was an important first step in an ongoing conversation about vital issues. 1. I do not believe that we are in a situation where we are providing exposure for a person that has hundreds of millions of views on their videos, Noah said, adding later, you are not providing a platform for this person. What you are doing is you are trying to get into their space and talk to them as a person, but more importantly, you are trying to talk to the people that would never hear you in the first place. But this week, Lauren posted a new Final Thoughts with Tommy video, in which she framed her appearance on The Daily Show as yet more proof of bias among liberals and within the media establishment. Asterisk The Daily Show wasn't t the first time I've experienced the hypocrisy of the left or the mainstream media. I've become pretty familiar with what happens when you question their narrative or challenge their worldview. Trevor Noah is a good guy, but he likened me to a racist uncle before I stepped on the stage. Thanks, bud. Neutral. And the first thing he asked me was, why are you so angry? See, when the left makes a point, it has passion. When someone on the right does the same, it has anger. However committed no one might be to keeping the dialogue friendly, then, it seems that Lauren is still committed to amping up her base with fiery rhetoric. Later that day, however, Lauren posted a more cheerful message, an Instagram selfie with some cupcakes Noah had sent her. Lauren seemed to appreciate the cupcakes jokingly referring to her Noah's love of sugar as common ground. Unsurprisingly, the move did nothing to smooth things over between Noah and his critics, who responded swiftly on social media, asking what would motivate Noah to reach out with such a gesture. The desserts weren't T. Noah's first gesture of cordiality, either. On Wednesday's breakfast club, Noah also addressed a friendly round of drinks that he and Lauren apparently shared after the Daily Show taping. Noah explained that he and his producers had invited Lauren and her people out after the show to exchange thank yous. TMZ spotted the host and the firebrand together and posted a photo of them, apparently cropped to make it appear as though he and Lauren were alone. 
Lauren insisted to the gossip site, you can be friends with people you disagree with. She also said that she would absolutely do Noah's show again, if asked. The ball is in Noah's court now as to whether or not he'll want to invite Lauren back. But given the response their debate has gotten already, it will certainly be notable if he does.